Welcome to a short demo of BFD with ISO Valent Enterprise for CDM 116. BFD stands for Bidirectional Forwarding Detection. It's a protocol which is defined in RFC 5880 and aims at detecting network failures in order to find an alternative path for packets to take. It works alongside dynamic voting protocols like OSPF and BGP and enables you to identify very quickly a link that is uh, degraded or appears that is unresponsive and to update the routing table accordingly and switch over the traffic to a healthy path instead. We provide lots of information about BFD on Celium in this blog post and find lots more, lots for, more, lots more information about the protocol uh, how to set this up and but in this demo we're just going to look at the behavior when one of the links between our Kubernetes cluster and our remote peer over BGP is defective is lossy and we'll see what happens to um, packets and um, the routing table without BFD and then with BFD and what you'll see is once we enable BFD we are able to detect that our link is um, is having some issues really quickly with BFD. Whereas without BFD, it can take sometimes a couple of minutes for BGP to detect that a link is defect. So it provides faster convergence time and make your Kubernetes cluster much more robust uh, when issues and in the net. Right, let's go now into a demo. In our demo, we have a Kubernetes cluster running i7 Enterprise for Cydium 116 and is connected over BGP to an FRR virtual device and also to a Cisco CSR 1000V virtual device. And they're both connected over, over BGP. So what we'll do first is we'll um, uh, verify that the connection is working with BGP. We, we, we won't uh, use BFD just yet. And what we'll do is we introduce some loss in our, in our link and watch the behavior before enabling BFD. So on the left hand side, uh, you can see I've got a Cilium BGP reading and I've built a connection between an FR uh, remote device and my Cisco CSR 1000, which you can see as well on the right hand side, I've got a CSR ter terminal window. Uh, I am advertising the pod CRDR to the CSR device, and we are not yet running um, BFD between Cilium and the CSR. So the condition is established, and what we're going to do first is we are going to introduce some packet loss. For this, we're using Container Lab, which is our virtual networking um, platform. And it natively supports NetM, the network emulation that can support the ability to introduce latency and packet loss in our links. So we are introducing on the Ethernet 1 uh, interface of the CSR device where I'll introduce a packet loss. Here we go. Now, the link between the CSR and the Kubernetes cluster running Cilium Enterprise is defective and 100% uh, packet loss. All the packets are being dropped. The Cilium is still assumes that um, the BGP session is working. Again, because uh, of the BGP full time and uh, keep alive timers. By default, um, the keep alive timers are uh, sent uh, every 30 seconds. And that's the heartbeat that used by the BGP session to establish that our remote peer is still alive. Uh, and the whole time time, whole timer is how long we need to wait before a session um, is deemed broken or unresponsive. As you can see, even though the link is uh, is lossy, uh, the session is still established. 
So at this point, what you've done, the traffic is essentially is still is, is being black holed as it uh, enters a cluster uh, again because um, we would rather the traffic go through an, an alternate path, perhaps through the FRR device. But again, be because of the current timers used by by BGP, we are not able to detect that the session um, is effective. And finally, so it took uh, over about well, a minute and a half, two minutes for the session to be uh, now in active and idle mode where it's going to try to reconnect, but it's unresponsive. And if we log on to the CSR device, we see again the session is inactive, which means that it's trying to reconnect but uh, keep lives are not being uh, received and, uh, and sent between the two. So by default, um, by using the default BGP timers, we can see that uh, there is a very long interruption once we have an issue such as a, a lossy link. And it will be the same if, let's say, one of the peers uh, was we um, had some issues and were was unable to process and to receive the packets. And we might, uh, uh, it might take a couple of minutes for the system to detect that um, um, our remote peer is defective. So we need a faster way to detect uh, and to monitor the stability of our link and of our remote peers. And that's where we're going to be using VFD. So let's um, change and remove the loss on our link so the session should re-establish itself and then let's uh, enable BFD on Selium and on the CSR 1000 so we're going to deploy this isovalent ISO BGP peer config here which refers to a BFD profile which is uh, how we specify the configuration of BFD using Selium the BFD profile looks like this. You can specify the receive interval and the transmit interval. Essentially, how often we send the packets uh, between the different peers. Uh, it just enables us to verify again in um, under a second that um, our remote end is healthy. Now we are using BFD on Selenium, and we'll also enable it on the CSR 1000. We need to set the same int interval um, lines and we'll need to update the BGP configuration as well. So now we've enabled BFD on both. Again, we'll double check on, this, on the Cilium side that uh, the third feature is active. And BFD is enabled as a feature. Take a look on the CSR. And our session is up. And we can see that uh, we now have BFD configured and our BFD PI is up. And we're using BFD to de detect fast all over. Let's establish that BFD is working by bringing down um, the packet by, again, reintroducing some packet loss. Again, what we would like this time around is for the BGP session to go down as quickly as possible once we introduce them. So again, on the right-hand side here, you can see I'm going to uh, go from zero loss to 100. And you can see immediately that the session has gone down. That's how quickly we can identify that our peer is unresponsive Again, either because the system is, um, is is hung or because the link is defective, using BFD. It just enables us to have posters that are more resilient in the event of a failure and traffic to take an alternative path when an error is detected. And that's all for today. Uh, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next step.